By definition, the universe comprises the totality of space, time, and all energy and matter, or in other words, everything that exists. But despite all astronomical milestones and space flights, we have still not succeeded in deciphering the big picture. The cosmos in its entirety is still largely an unsolved mystery. As a result of our incomplete state of knowledge, the most different theories exist which aim to fathom the true character of the universe. A particularly exciting thesis bears the name of the holographic principle and is based on the assumption that the universe is completely different than our subjective perception would have us believe. We'll tell you all about this exciting theory and its basis in today's video. Want to learn more about the groundbreaking discoveries and spectacular spectacles in the cosmos on a regular basis? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space and click on the bell to never miss one of our videos again. Go ahead and show us with a thumbs up that we can keep you engaged with the content of our posts. The Holographic Principle We live in a world that has three spatial dimensions and one temporal dimension up, down, left, right, forward, backward, and past and future. Well, anyway, this assumption is based on our very own intuition, which, however, does not have to mesh with the actual reality. In fact, some researchers believe that our living world, which naturally seems so real and tangible to us, is in fact nothing more than a hologram projected from an infinitely distant surface. In order to understand what this assumption, which seems unbelievable at first glance, is all about, we must first take a look at the revolutionary work of Jacob Bekenstein. In fact, the Israeli-American physicist succeeded in deriving an equation that can be used to describe the entropy of black holes. In other words, it is the quantity of all quantum information that has ever fallen into the black hole. Thereby, the Bekenstein equation embodies the maximum possible entropy information quantity of an arbitrary volume of space. Surprisingly, this maximum is proportional to the surface of space and not to its volume. Bekenstein's theses were eventually to be confirmed by none other than Stephen Hawking. As is well known, the astrophysicist who died in 2018 also discovered the Hawking radiation named after him. However, it is not possible for us to experimentally prove this predicted radiation of black holes. Moreover, since Hawking radiation contains no information about the black hole's formation history, researchers face a puzzling information paradox. The disappearance of information is in stark contradiction to a fundamental principle of quantum mechanics. And it's precisely at this point that the exciting holographic principle comes into play. This postulates that every form of information that crosses the event horizon of a black hole is completely encoded on the interface defined by the Schwarzschild radius. To understand what these admittedly rather cryptic words are all about, it's worth comparing them with the holograms we are familiar with. Although these are actually two-dimensional, they contain three-dimensional image information. Reality and Theory In order to understand the further background of the holographic principle, it's important to fade out our common imagination as far as possible. As already mentioned at the beginning, we perceive the world around us as a construct that has three plus one, or in other words, spatial and temporal dimensions. The problem here is the fact that neither the theories of relativity nor the quantum theories are able to open up the cosmos as a whole against this background. String theory offers a promising way out of this scientific one-way street. This postulated first 10, then 11, and finally, 21 dimensions. Within the framework of this scientific thesis, the basic building blocks of the universe do not exist in the form of point-like particles, but rather behave like one-dimensional strings. In order to make this starting position also mathematically valid, the cosmos must therefore expand into several space-time dimensions, whereby some of these dimensions, however, are rolled up in such a way that they elude our perception. And possibly this elusive idea can also be transferred to our tangible reality, which in this case would not be what it seems to be, but what speaks for the fact that we live in the midst of a complex illusion, that it's entirely possible to create something like a false, 
Yet authentic reality is something everyone can relate to these days. All we have to do is put on VR goggles and then immerse ourselves in lifelike virtual landscapes. In fact, we also perceive a three-dimensional space, regardless of the fact that this is actually only created by two flat screens. In simplified terms, this example also illustrates the effect of the holographic principle. There is a direct connection between a spatial structure and its counterpart on a surface. Let's go back to the information paradox of black holes. If the state of a closed system is known completely, its theoretical behavior can be predicted precisely for any time in the future. At the same time, it's consequently also possible to find out how the corresponding object behaved shortly before. However, should the corresponding information disappear or be destroyed, this is naturally no longer possible, except in the special case in which the information is coded in some way in the area of the event horizon. Thus, also previous spatial effects would have been only the projection of a hologram. Possibly, we can imagine the cosmos on the basis of this example, therefore, as the inside of a gigantic black hole. The actual reality takes place only on the event horizon of the structure. Everything else is nothing but an optical illusion. But supposing that this mysterious circumstance does indeed underlie our reality, there must be some mechanism that sets the projection of our world in motion in the first place. In other words, this means multidimensional theories must be able to be converted into theories with fewer dimensions, and that without losing anything in this conversion. The Universe as a Hologram For a long time, such an undertaking was only possible for negatively curved spaces. In the meantime, however, scientists have provided evidence that this is also possible in a nearly flat cosmos. Although the actual shape of the universe has not yet been unambiguously deciphered, some experts believe that a nearly flat nature is most likely. A study published in 2017 now extends this exciting line of thought a bit further. As part of their work, the experts examined various holographic quantum field theories and compared the parameters under which properties of the universe emerge. The surprising result? The holographic theories did not perform worse than the standard model of cosmology. Even the anomalies of the cosmic background radiation could be predicted in the corresponding simulations. To find out whether these research results really make the existence of a holographic universe probable, we should take another closer look at the test series. Holographic Principle on the Test Bench The early days of the universe still embody an unsolved mystery for experts. How could such a diverse cosmic world emerge from the bizarre and extreme primordial state? According to a widespread theory, the cosmos went through a period of rapid inflation shortly after its birth within which the early universe expanded over gigantic dimensions within fractions of a second. However, scientists are confronted with the enormous problem that such an explosive development cannot be proven from today's point of view. Furthermore, we do not know what events ultimately set the cosmic inflation in motion. The good news is that both the standard model of cosmology and the holographic model make predictions that can be scientifically verified. For example, it can be understood to what extent the different models agree with real data on cosmic background radiation. In this relic from the early days of the cosmos, evidence of mass energy fluctuations can also be found. And indeed, in the course of their simulations, the experts found that although the holographic models predict somewhat different fluctuations than the standard model, on balance they agree perfectly with the data from the Planck satellites. But do these surprising results now mean that it's indeed reasonable to conclude that we live in a hologram world? The short answer to the question is no. So of course, the study results do not yet represent incontrovertible proof of a holographic cosmos. To confirm or falsify this exciting theory, space would have to be blurred even in its smallest dimensions. The Fermilab holometer will show whether this is really the case. As the most sensitive laser interferometer of all time, the holometer should even be able to detect light fluctuations the size of an atom or trillionth of a meter. We have all seen blurry or pixelated images on the internet, which are generally attributed to low internet bandwidth. The holometer looks for such disturbances in reality, 
which are commonly considered to be the frequency limit that nature itself sets. In the run-up to the experiment, the researchers hope to detect the smallest unit of the universe.